I think that the black diaspora, um, you know, is really, really a big help to Ghana, you know. I think that, um, uh, you know, and it's really a change in dynamics, you know, the, with all of the police killings and all the other issues that's going on with the states and, and people coming to Ghana and a other African countries and seeing that there is life here, there's opportunity, there's love and seeing people of your same color doing things. Now people are like, whoa, you know, hey, you know, we got, can, got you got another <laughs> option, you know. Right. And so, you know, when they're coming, you know, they're also, you know, seeing people and they're touched by, you know, these people fetching water and different mm -hmm. things and they also bring their resources to help. The fraternity came, they saw how much water that we take for granted in the States. Mm -hmm. I mean, kids have bubble baths and everything. And, right. you know, a person get a bucket of water to bath, they happy, you know. And right. so right. they saw how it impacted communities and it was like, wow, we need to do more. And wow. so they went back and they said, look, we're going to commit to do 24 boreholes all throughout wow. Ghana through your nonprofit, your NGO, Team CSR Ghana. And wow. so we started on that, you know, and it was very successful. And, and the way that they raised the money was through all the different chapters they have stateside and around the world okay. and all the individual brothers. You know, we have millionaire brothers. I mean, you know, so many things. And everybody started donating. Okay. And so we reached the 24 boreholes so quickly and kept going that, you know, we just surpassed it. And right now, I'm proud to say we've done 60 boreholes wow. in 60 villages all throughout wow. Ghana in the past two wow. years.